Well, hi, everybody. Are you ready for another bridge tip? Well, today we're going to talk about how if we count declarer's distribution, we might be able to make the killing defense. It's really, really good to listen to the auction to see what kind of information you can get in order to maybe figure out the holding in the declarer's hand so that you know what to do. Let's take a look at an example and you shall see. Let's take a look. All right, here we have an auction. North and South are the only ones bidding in this particular case. And North opened a strong no trump. And South has a good nine points and they bid stamen. All right, so they bid two clubs and North bid two spades. And South being an aggressive type decided on their nine points and they liked their uh, holding a lot in the heart suit, they upgraded their hand not necessarily they should, but they bid four spades. So they arrived in four spades and West is the one that's going to be the hero or the goat in this particular hand on defense. Let's see what I'm talking about and how we can use the information from the auction to perhaps figure out what the declarer has so we know how to defend. So again, it went one no trump, two clubs, two spades, four spades, and our favorite partner, the one who's sitting across from us, led the nine of hearts. So now let's think about what that nine of hearts could be. Well, it could be a singleton. It could be a doubleton. It doesn't look like top of nothing because I hold the eight. So it's not top of the sequence or top of nothing. But of course, it depends on what kind of leading agreements that you and your partner have. But mainly, we have to decide if it's a singleton or a doubleton. Why? Because it seems our partner is looking for a rub. So we need to know whether to take the first trick or assume that our partner has some kind of trump control, some kind of spade control for leading a doubleton if that's what they have. Well, can you tell me why we know it's a doubleton or we should be able to figure out that it's not a singleton? The auction is going to help us. Remember, South bid stamen and North bid two spades. So if North had four hearts and four spades, they would have bid hearts first. So look at you, you have four hearts and South has four hearts. If North also had four hearts, that would be a singleton that East is leading. But since they didn't bid hearts, they skipped over it and bid spades, your partner is more likely to be holding a doubleton. And since we have no other entries to our hand, the best we can do is encourage partner that we really like the suit. And for today, we're playing standard carding. And Partner is going to play the eight of hearts. Now, partner got in with the ace of spades as we expected. And what's going to happen? Is going to continue the heart. Aha. So now we're in, and now we're pretty sure it was a doubleton. So what's our obligation? Our partner wants a rough. We're going to give it to him. So now we're going to dutifully give him his rough. So, so far, how many tricks do we have? We have how many? Well, we have the ace of hearts, the ace of spades, and a rough. So that's three tricks. We need four to set the contract. Let's see what happened. And we're going to exit and see all four hands. And our partner has the ace of clubs. So we set the contract. Had you taken the first trick with the ace of hearts and returned a heart, you would not be able to give your partner a rough because you don't have any communication between the two hands. So since you knew because you came to this lesson and you heard that there was a stamen bid and hearts was skipped by right to spades, then you know that your partner had a doubleton. And 
you were so smart and you held up and took the second heart trick you did encourage and you set the contract all because you knew something about the distribution of the hand. All right, we're gonna take a look at another example of how figuring out the distribution of the declarer can help us decide how to defeat the enemy. All right, so let's take a look at the auction. East opened one spade, West bid two clubs, East now bid two hearts, West bid two no trump, they do have diamond cards, as you can see. And now East bid three hearts. Okay, so West would absolutely be happy to support hearts now and bid four hearts. So the kind of contract is four hearts. North is in the hot seat, the hero or the goat right now, okay, to figure out how to defeat the enemy. Okay, so their favorite partner led the ace of diamonds and they encouraged with the nine. So their partner played the king of diamonds. And now they are going to give their partner what? A rough. Oh, there it is, the rough. Okay, so here you are north. You've taken the ace, king of diamonds and got a diamond rough. What do you want to play next? What are your thoughts? You've got three tricks in and the contract is four hearts. So you want to think about whether or not you want to cash your ace of clubs for the setting trick. How many are you thinking about doing that? Hmm? How many out there tell me the truth? Well, I'm going to say to you, why should you not cash the ace of clubs? How many clubs does the declarer have? You should know the answer to this if you were thinking. Think about the auction. Declarer opened a spade, so he's most likely to have five. He bid hearts twice. So I think he has at least five hearts. So I would say five hearts and five spades, and he followed to three diamonds. Voila, that's 13 cards that you know. He does not have any clubs. So if you cash the ace of clubs, he's gonna rough it and he might get a useful pitch on the king of, the king of clubs. So you're best not to touch clubs. And if declarer let a club off the board, you shouldn't fly either in the hand, why? because you know he's gonna rough it and it's safe to let your partner win whatever club card is. He's not gonna be able to use them. So let's see, we've got the ace of diamonds, the king of diamonds and a rough. I would probably just lead back a mundane trump and let the declarer work things out for himself. So as it turns out, he's going to play on spades, see what he's going to do. He's going to rough a spade. He's gonna come back to his hand and rough, he roughed, roughed, roughed the club as we suspected. And you were very good north, you didn't go up with the ace. Now he roughs another spade, comes back to his hand and he is going to do what? He's got to pull the last trump and you're going to get a spade in the end. We're gonna see all four hands. Well done. If you had played the ace of clubs, you can see he's going to get to pitch on the king of clubs and he'll be able to make the contract. He's one trick short by you not cashing your ace of clubs. He can't rough out all of his spades and pitch one. So by counting the declarer's known distribution, you can figure out how to defend the hand. Well done.
Okay, here's another example that we're going to look at where the distribution may help us. Let's take a look at the auction. West opened a diamond, East bid a heart, West bid two clubs, East raised three clubs, raised to three clubs, and now West bid three no trump. So we are pretty sure that West has some spade cards, but let's figure out, or we could assume that West has at least four diamonds and at least four clubs, correct? And they have some spades. So they're probably short in what suit? Probably hearts. And they didn't bid, they didn't bid one no over the one heart bid. They bid two clubs. So I would say that they're probably not balanced. And if they have spade cards and club cards and diamond cards, hint, 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 they're not going to have too many heart cards. So let's see if we can figure out how to defeat this contract. The three of spades was led, and we're going to assume that we're playing fourth, fourth best leads. All right. So the three was led. And you win the ace. Okay. And what do you lead back? Well, you should lead back. Aha. Uh -huh. You thought I was going to say lead back a spade. But I'm saying to you, and I'm going to show you that again, that you should be thinking, all right, I know that West has some spade cards, and how many tricks do I need to take? I need to take five tricks. My partner did lead a low spade, but I can still get to him. But if I'm thinking that Declarer has a singleton heart, right? If he has five diamonds, four clubs, and three spades, and a singleton heart, it might be a, a singleton honor. But look at all my good heart spots that I have over the dummy's heart spots. I have the ace, queen, nine over the ten. So if I think Declarer has a singleton heart, I want to let my partner know that we have tricks coming in this suit. So instead of lackadaisically just playing back a spade for partner, I thought about the auction and I cashed the ace of hearts and I got rewarded by dropping the stiff king. Now, what can I do? I'm going to play a heart to my partner's jack. Look, it's like magic. And my partner is going to lead a heart back and I'm going to win my nine. And now I'm going to win my queen. And now I've taken our five tricks that I can return a spade for partner. But as you can see, I can see all four hands, that if I had led back a spade because my partner did lead low, they like that suit. And I didn't think about the auction giving me the whole distribution, they would have made the hand. They would have taken their five diamonds and their four clubs, which is nine, plus their spade uh, king, which is 10. So they would have got a really good score unless they had defenders like you who listened to the auction and figured out that West probably doesn't have four spades because they might have bid a spade over a heart, but they probably have three spades to have bid three no with such ease when their partner had bid hearts. So they showed three suits and you should play them for shortness in the other suit and you've got great spot cards over the dummies. So go for it. All right, well, I hope that you learned a little bit about how the auction, if you look at it, can help you figure out the declarer's distribution and you're going to make the killing defense. Go get them and have a wonderful, wonderful bridge day. It was nice seeing you again.